do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanting this forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better Okay, Hey. yeah Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Extra, extra Work with me, you know that I got it Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it Boom, boom They don't let me shoot a whole clip Firepower in this coalition We just turned the field into a demolition It was desolate, but I had premonition I was training for war every exhibition Every extra mission, every enemy listening Get off my dick, I got bad intentions Make it right every wrong And I'm back with a vengeance, I show you the ropes Peace in my town, I can show you the coast Up in the shots if they wanted to smoke If you know, then you know Suited up, my whole team do the same Don't you forget who created the game Ready for war, I was born with grenades Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Let's go. Give them a name to remember. Okay, okay. Hey, let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. A moment can live on forever. So we've officially made it to Lifted Truck Nationals. I am in my great work outfit. Make sure truck matches or your shirt matches. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, I chose, <laughs> I chose this outfit. This definitely is not straight from work to Lifted Truck Nationals outfit. This is just what I wear. But we're here at Lifted Truck Nationals and we're gonna start unloading our trucks. Luckily we came early on a Thursday, so that gives us Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Typically we come like on a Friday evening, so we don't really get to soak it all in. But this is actually very nice and it's gonna be our first time actually hauling our own truck here. So it's gonna be pretty cool. We're gonna see how this truck show goes. Freaking Dodge Hunters, they make me sick. <laughs> now let's get this bad boy unloaded. <laughs> clap customs and he's got me a little gift let me show you what that is so what what what, what do you got to show me right here so right here we got all our shirts but specifically for 60 titan we got the six blow obviously he's the king of the six o's on tiktok <laughs> uh so we got this one for him this used to be my partner's truck he's not here he'd probably be geeked if you were here but uh <laughs> this used to be his old truck kind of our, one of our most popular designs and uh we do shirts decals kind of growing in the community and uh should have fun, man. Just here for the passion, you know. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> so this is your buddy's actual this, truck this right is here. My buddy's actual truck. Yeah, yeah, I sold it though. It had too many. Dude, he spent like twenty grand. <laughs> had way too many problems. But uh, he sold it to some. He Freaking it to six O's. It make me sick. <laughs> he sold it to some fifteen-year-old high schooler. Nice, and nice. I have no idea, dude. He popped the hood for him. Like, oh yeah, it's studded. So like, if you want to check that it's studded, like. <laughs> What does studded mean? Like, what? <laughs> what? So, dude, he sold the truck. It's gone now. But no way. Shirt, but... Dude, that's perfect. So, so, pretty sick. We got your shirt. If We're... you guys need some truck shirts, you know where to go. Clap Customs. You can find us on TikTok, our website. Just Google clapcustoms.com. It'll come up. So make sure you guys check them out. Appreciate oh. it, man. <laughs> so that's a cool thing, like, supporting a little company like that. Just, I don't know. He didn't have to give me a shirt. He didn't have to give me a stick or anything like that. And it's nothing freaking crazy, but... It's just, it's just a cool little feeling to be recognized as like as the face of the 6-0 community. So pretty pretty cool. He didn't ask me to do any of that. I just felt like it would be a cool thing to do for him. But let's keep on walking around the show, see what, what else there is. There's a lot of nice trucks here. <laughs> yes. 6-0 time! 6-0 time! 
I don't want to be this guy forever. But who is this guy? I, I don't know. This looks freaking sick. Look, he's got the exact same headlights I do. Oh. He's got the same exact headlights. He's got. He already beat me to it. He's got the visor. Pretty man. I know she said it was probably sarcasm. Uh, it wasn't. <laughs> I said it looked like a transformer. Anyways, <laughs> even the mirrors, the mirrors are the same. Vance is about to be done. I don't have that. We have a bed cover. My back glass is full back glass. I don't have traction bars. We got chrome wheels. And, uh, I mean, I guess, I guess you know, mine is an XLT, so it doesn't really He's have... got a better tailgate. <laughs> yeah, he's got a nicer tailgate than I do. But, yeah, that's, that's pretty sick. We need, we're going to get a bunch of these red 6.7s together. I promise you, by the end of this video, this is the third one I've seen, plus mine four total. I think it'd make a really good edit. I'd agree. So we'll see. So I found uh, some very unique builds, something you don't see very often over here. Uh, you know, some red 6.7s. It's just really hard, you know, to find just a genuine build that, you know, not everyone copy and paste, you know, like getting the same color matched, you know, emblems for the front, you know, chrome C bars on the grill. You know, this is really unique on these trucks. And to top it all off, you also got to get chrome wheels to really set yourself apart from all the other builds. You know, I lifted truck shows, but on a real note, these things are pretty, pretty freaking sick. So this guy right here actually has a hood stack on his. All these a little, little bit different than, you know, each other. This one's actually a freaking long bed. I, I have never seen an extended cab long bed. The body on this thing's longer than a Monday. He's got some white suspension, a little bit different. And then you got mine over here. Got some chrome and red accents through it. You guys have already seen that one. And then we move over here to this bad boy. He's got the freaking cow hood. So these are just a little bit, little bit different than one another. But I mean, they still look really good. just me or like people that roll you know coal at you know truck shows especially hood stack guys like you know to me you know I feel like it's kind of overrated <laughs> so over here behind me I found one of the alpha male Dodge Rams these are very difficult to find now we're gonna come up on it very slowly because we don't want to feel like we're challenging it in its territory you know by trying to show dominance so do not make direct eye contact with it now if you come close just take a look at it, kind of, you know, keep your gaze a little low. But this is just a beautiful specimen. What other way to show that you're just the most masculine Dodge Ram owner than to have many guns on top of your roof? You got SMG turn signals, so that shoots like 30 rounds per second. So every time you oh hit, my word, hold every on. time you hit your turn signal, it fires off a few rounds to the person next to you. So it's I'm turning left. I'm going right. So it's actually really impressive. <laughs> and the cool thing about these right here is if somebody is going too slow, you can actually just pop a few rounds through their back glass. Really, really cool. But overall, this thing's actually pretty wild. Like, <laughs> it actually takes the form of like the bunch of stock of the actual. So that's actually pretty sick. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's wild. I know I'm kind of giving it crap, but it's it's actually it gets pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Not really my cup of tea, but I mean, whenever I saw this, I'm like, Dodge guy with a bunch of guns on it. Look at the tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> War. <laughs> Just the most masculine truck I've ever seen, and it makes me jealous because I'll never be this manly in my life. <laughs> but yeah, let's let's keep walking around. Let's go see what else we can find because there's actually some pretty nice trucks here. <laughs> the handsome no, son of a gun. Uh, no, this is not the makeout scene. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> is it recording? Yes. Is it? Yes. Oh, am I good to go? Yes. Okay. 
So this truck right here is one of the OGs. I think it was even a little bit before my actual truck, but this thing is freaking immaculate. And this is gonna be my truck eventually is what we're basically gonna get. <laughs> like you're gonna get your truck to this point? Yeah, so like It sounded like you were gonna buy it. Well, no, I mean, as in like my truck, I'm gonna do the same thing that he's done. He's done the whole paint, he's done the cradle, the interior, the motor, everything has been touched on this truck. And that's actually where I want it to be at one day. Like, check out the fast boat paint job on this thing. Cameras don't do a freaking justice, but this thing's just perfect the way it is. Like, it sits high enough to where it's not insane. It doesn't sit low enough to where it's just like kind of boring. Perfect height, and then I like the cradle and everything. It's not overdone, like insane overlays and everything. It's almost the same kind of design and concept that I actually have on the 6.0, but obviously a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is this is where the 6.0 is going to be eventually, and I'm speaking it into existence. Mm -hmm. Check out the freaking engine. Bay. That's what I want out of mine. Mine is so disgusting, my engine bay. And you guys know, if I'm talking over a Dodge, it must be really nice. Also biased because it's red single gun. <laughs> but I, do, I do got a soft spot for second gen. Pretty decent, pretty decent. I think between this truck and there's an older truck over there I'm going to show you here in a second. I think these two are my favorite trucks here at the truck show this year. <laughs> let me show you that other truck I was talking about. Is it recording? Yes. It's recording? Yeah. So, I know people are going to be like, this is one of your favorite trucks. I don't know, this is just insane. Like, this is just beautiful. It's a GMC. I don't know what year. I don't know anything about these freaking trucks. This is just insane. I love the, the patina deal that it's got going on and everything. Left all the rust and everything like that. The interior, check out the interior. It's got like cattle reupholstery or whatever. Cow print, whatever that is. I don't know. Cattle. Pretty, I don't cow print, whatever. It's, it's pretty print. cool, but I just, I love, like, back in the day, they just made these things so freaking cool. Just like the way the windshield just wraps around the cab and everything, the windows and all of it. It's just so freaking cool. It's just so unique. This guy's little propane, little step side on there. Yeah, if I was rich, I'd just like wave a bunch of money in his face and like, how much for this bad boy? <laughs> Load up on the trailer, take it home. Right off the bat. Antique. I don't know. What, what, what do you guys think? So between, let's say we had to choose between B-Rax's single cab second gen or this truck. Which would you guys pick? <laughs> Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you see yourself in this video or a buddy, make sure to tag them, share it to them, and let them know, hey, you made it six of times YouTube video. I think that's cool. Oh, this is cool. It's got like a little, I don't know what this is, a little hose for something. Videos do not do this any justice. So if any of you guys have seen the oil spot underneath my truck, I got an explanation for that. So obviously today's the last day, it is Sunday, and yesterday, we're over by a truck and we noticed like a big old spot and i was like freaking out because i'm like my 6.0 does not leak freaking oil and when i got underneath the truck it was like a ghost leak there was no oil anywhere on the axle just couldn't couldn't find out where it was coming from and then we look in the back i'm like it's leaking from over here in the middle so we were like freaking out turns out it was the blessed truck <laughs> he was parked over here and i parked perfectly on top of his oil spot so it literally looks like my truck is leaking oil. And if you don't believe me, there's a spot there. <laughs> and just a line of oil going through over here leading up to this truck. So yeah, we were underneath it last night trying to figure out, I'm like, man, I can't go cruising in it. What if it doesn't have oil, blah, blah, this and that. I really don't want to drive in and hurt the motor. And Matt from Bless comes over, he goes, what are you guys doing? I'm trying to figure out where this is coming from. Oh yeah, that's this truck over here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I didn't I didn't drive the six so at all on Saturday thinking it was just leaking out oil like crazy. So yeah, that, that was some good news to hear that mm -hmm. it wasn't my truck. Mm -hmm. So it has come to an end of Lifted Truck Nationals 2024, their 10th year anniversary, and we took home the Promoter's Choice Award, which is like super huge accomplishment. We've never had anything this big. So on top of the Promoter's Choice, we also took home a top 75 for the 60 Power Stroke back there. So super cool to see a little XLT with 1,200 trucks out here take home a top 75 award. Really cool. I just want to say a huge shout out to Robbie, Lift Truck Nationals, and everyone that helped put on a really good show. We'll always be back. This is one of our favorite shows that we attend every single year, and we look forward to it. I think we're going to go ahead and head home. Luckily, we only got like an hour and 20 minute drive, and I just want to thank all of you guys. Everyone that came out, said hi. We did a few signatures. It was pretty cool. We saw Weston Chaplin. I didn't know the Luxifer guy, but everyone said he was famous, so I just got his signature. Oh, and my boy Freed, Freed Diesel. <laughs> That's my freaking homie right there. So yeah, we... I got some signatures of my own, so that was a really nice feeling. So another thing I kind of want to go over, like aside from all the awards and everything, really happy that you know we're able to get one, so that was really cool. 
it, this kind of just shows, you know, this time last year we drove the 6.0 power stroke here. It was a lot different than what it looked now. And then now fast forward one year exactly, we have a 6.7, we have a tow pig, you know, we got an XLT. It doesn't matter who you are, you don't have to have money, you don't have to come from a rich family like, it just shows you can be anybody come from a poor family and have something nice like this this isn't the most amazing thing ever in the whole world but i know there's a lot of smaller people out there that kind of watch my videos and i've talked with a few people <laughs> that just kind of use it for like <laughs> that kind of use it for like motivation so i want this to like kind of speak to people like that you know don't feel ashamed that you drive a little s10 blazer a little ford ranger or something that's clocked a squatter truck whatever it is you can be a famous person you can be a celebrity influencer whatever you want to be in life you just got to work for it i've been doing this stuff for literally we're going almost eight years oh my bad yeah yeah so it's like almost eight years i've been doing social media and just now recently this past like year and a half two years it's been taken off for us but i don't know i just hope that someone can take aside from that the ogs can see everything that we've worked up to to kind of get us to the point we are today and i want you guys to use this as a motivation i'm never trying to flex or anything like that in front of people i really just want to be an example for all the small guys out there that need someone to look up to i would like to be that guy mm -hmm. but anyways we're gonna go ahead head out and we will see you guys at the next show let me know what you guys think on this video and we'll see you guys at the next one let me just pick up my big award oh this oh just gonna be the next table piece what do you think babe I think it has room. We have room yeah, for it. So we're going to put it on our table. It's just going to be sitting right there. The conversation piece. <laughs>